Hello all and welcome to my channel. Um, this is another video of my artwork but this is the sketchbook leading up to, well, throughout my coursework um, in my art A level. Uh, this is quite a thick sketchbook compared to the last one so you might find that I'm flicking through it a bit faster just to um, get through it and not keep you all waiting too long. I hope you enjoy. So a quick note, um, on the first two pages, the back of the front cover, I just did a collage to sort of add a bit of personality. If you saw my previous um, video, you'll find I talk a bit about making your sketchbook sort of a work of art in itself um, and just giving um, away parts of your personality to interest the examiner. That's my um, art history essay which I shall not flick through because it's just writing. Um, so here, um, because I did the two-year course, we kind of, um, it was kind of weird, we did the first year of our A-level just doing sort of work, um, uh, bits and bobs and sort of working as if we were already doing the A level, the full A level, not the AS. Um, so here I put pictures of my work in the previous years. Um, so yeah, there's pencil sketches, um, experimentation, ink, pencil, oil painting, um, and that's some oil paint on paper mache, a bit funky, um, and watercolour and um, charcoal and sort of that kind of chalky stuff. A lot more writing about what I've already done. Um, yeah, I won't show these because these are from my um, first year sketchbook, which isn't actually finished because it didn't really count for anything. Um, although we, I did end up cutting bits out and adding it to later stuff um, if I thought it was worthy. So yeah, there's a lot of writing in this book, so be prepared. So there are a few pictures there, and then here I just sort of jotted down ideas and how portraiture works. Um, I did some drawings and then put oil over it. I can't even remember why, but that's gone more and more yellow over the years. Now it's practically orange, so... That's fun. I find this stuff quite cool. That's the other side of the funky oil stuff that isn't oil paintings. Um, some sketches and then I did some spray painting stuff with this one, which I quite liked. Experimentation. And one more sketch here. And like I said in the other video, if you saw it, using up space. So just sticking that on top. Um, talking about it. And... Then some art history and looking at a few artists of my choice. Um, yep, I looked at quite a few of these, a few Ukrainian artists. Um, that's quite interesting because the lady used bullets to make a portrait of Putin. <laughs> I wonder why, guys. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then some lovely Ukrainian artists like the sand artist, um, Piemonenko, who did sort of traditional dress and village um, imagery. And then I think Vasil Kluchevsky ended up being one of my three artists. If we, I think we did three artists for this one too. Um, and they were actually photos I took in Ireland the summer before, I think it was. Um, street art, uh, some of the independence imagery in the gallery that we went to in Dublin, um, and then actually taking photos of this sketchbook and talking about my thought processes. Um, Goethe's theory of colour. So this was a bit of research. Um, yeah. I won't read through that because that will take too long. Pierre Bonnard. A few more famous artists here. Uh, oh, that's starting to flick off. 
must have corrected something I got wrong and stuck it over. Um, <laughs> and yeah, George Shaw, I ended up going to see this exhibition actually um, for my research. So advice, guys, if you get the chance to see any of your artists, go see them because it looks cool and you can um, talk about it more and from having seen the actual thing itself. Um, so yeah, this is some photography. Uh, so if you didn't know, I'm Ukrainian, <laughs> hence the funky name, Natalka. And um, so a lot of this coursework ended up um, I ended up using some Ukrainian, old Ukrainian dance costumes that we still have and we still wear for certain um, cultural events and things. Um, my sister, I uh, hope she won't mind me saying, but um, dressed up in our lovely Ukrainian outfits and I took photos of her and eventually painted her. I might show some of these works um Oh, I'll show one in the end to show what this uh, worked towards. Photos. 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 Little watercolour. And experimenting with that, I did this cool thing where, um, what with looking at the colour wheel, which you'll see a bit earlier above this, um, I worked with really bright colours and stuck together bits of coloured paper in the shape of the watercolour you just saw. Um, so yeah, next one. Haha, -ha, do you see what I mean now? I was pretty chuffed with this, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not even gonna be ashamed, like, I never saw myself as like a a proper abstract kind of person but I really enjoyed doing this. Um, if you forgot, these are abstracted versions of these. So yeah, I hope you can see the resemblance, although it doesn't really matter because it's abstract. <laughs> so I promised a lot of writing and I also promised you I would not read it, so don't worry, fear not. But here is some research of some of the artists I chose to look at. Um, I just wrote it on the computer and printed it off. Sonia Delorny, another Ukrainian artist, but um, she married, I think, a Frenchman. Quite cool stuff. Uh, ah, Gerhard Rich. I think I wrote about him in my exam book as well. You may recognise, but he's got blurry stuff here, which is cool. Um, yep, you get that. <laughs> Uh, photos of some practical work. That's a close-up of some of the graphs that I did. That is, I hope you can see that... <laughs> that is um, a painting of those photos I just sh showed you. Photos. Ah, this stuff is pretty cool. Well, I like it. I hope you do. Um, so yeah, here's a kind of taken from Gerhardt stuff. Um, the blurry stuff. Uh, I took a accidentally took a blurry photo, but actually kind of liked it of my sister in some more Ukrainian outfits um and headdresses so here blurry stuff and i zoomed in and worked on my oil painting blurring and then i did like a little mini study of something i later did a bit bigger um and took photos of it as i went along as i said in my previous video remember to do that because it looks good and shows your thinking and that is a little oil painted study. Um, and then this is uh, thinking about the colours I did earlier, um, sort of abstracting, well, not quite, but sort of using flat colours that like are jumbled up versions of this as that 
looking a bit like Marge Simpson. So here's some more stuff um, my teacher suggested, as well as portraiture, I kind of experiment a bit with the subject matter in the photos. Um, so I draped a lot of materials on trees. As you saw earlier, I also did that with the um, orange blanket on trees. I ended up painting that. Um, this is just some of the Ukrainian belts, I think, actually. I'm just draping off of trees and I did a watercolour study and then that's a cut out version of that and then I replicated it right next to it which kind of looks cool I think so I hope you agree hmm maybe I did more painting than I thought <laughs> um well there is a lot of writing still but yeah this is a watercolour of like a zoom in of a painting I ended up doing, an oil painting of the previous photos you saw. This is a study of um, that, obviously. So yeah, as I said in previous video, it's good to study and try and paint and replicate other artists work, um, just to sort of get an idea of their process and how they went about it. And then this is, these are photos of the oil painting that I did, the second biggest in my whole art A-level. Um, although it's quite tiny here, obviously, but step by step. Um, oh no, not step by step. So I think I put effects on this, actually. I just did, like, photo effects. And if I turn the light off, will it? Yeah, so you can see here that... It's negative. I'm going to try and flick through the next few pages quicker because this is literally just research. Um, here's an oil, st oil um, what am I talking about? Water colour study of this, George Shaw's work, who I went to the gallery to see it. And you can't see, but these are photos from the book that I got from the National Gallery, I think it was. National Portrait Gallery. Um, I bought the book um, from his exhibition and just like took photos of that to show that I've sort of done extra research. Now, flicking through, annotating around the stuff um, and talking about my experience. There's the image of the book. And then further photos, experimentation photographs. Now, I actually had a broken camera, but it caused this rather cool effect that was kind of distorted. So if you can see here, there are lines across all of it. And it got a bit annoying because it just got out of hand after a certain point. But here it looks quite cool. <laughs> and it kind of looks futuristic, despite the fact that she's wearing old Ukrainian clothes. So interesting there more really funky photos that I liked and a few studies here so here it's a bit random but I ended up just doing the kind of distorted effect just literally copying the blank space next to her um, and then here I did a watercolor study and annotated that's rather terrifying believe it or not that's me <laughs> Amazing how a broken camera can make you look so fabulous. Um, apparently it only did that for my sister and not for me. Sad times. But here is another study. That ended up being an oil painting. So that's pretty cool. Just showing that I'm thinking ahead. And Oh, this actually ended up my, being my final piece. So you'll see that later on. Art history, art history, art history, and then comparison on the use of form by three artists. So that's art history as well. Um, Sonia Delaunay, George Shaw, and Pimon, Pim, uh, oh, sorry, Pimonenko, um, the other Ukrainian guy, and relating to my work. So there's an idea of how you can make it all 
jazzy and thinky because that's very important in this A-level. You can't just make pretty pictures. Next up. Ah, I like this page. These pages. Um, so, yeah, if you can see... Just refocusing there. Um, this is another oil painting of my sister in headdress. So, quite cool. And it kind of... Well, it kind of ended up being is slightly abstracted. I don't know what you think, but because um, there's just so many colours going on, it gets a bit confusing, which is quite cool. And then this is a photo, uh, not a photo. Um, <laughs> this is me sketching her again um, with those. I don't know if you can see that. There's those lines around um here they've kind of faded now um so just remember guys always hairspray your sketches because otherwise they just rub off and same with charcoal or anything that's sort of um i don't know the word pencil-esque i don't know um painting obviously that's a wet thing that dries but this is kind of something that's you know it just comes off and it's always dry, but, it, you know, you get me. Analysis. Wait, I swear I did this already before. Um, ah, so you remember this page? I did it again. <laughs> Analysis of this painting and then comparison of the use of content by my three artists. Again, Delaunay Shaw. Kimonenko relating to my work so just a lot of thinking behind this remember that and again um comparison of the process used by my three artists so that's important because um we've as i say you've got to know the process by um whether it's analyzing a painting or recreating that image yourself um, that's good. And then I related it to my work, but didn't put a title for some reason. <laughs> um, and then I analysed one of, uh, is this Sonia Delaunay, I believe? Yes, it is. Yes. Um, one of her works. Next up. This is Sonia Delaunay again. Um, she also did a lot of fashion stuff with these kind of imageries. Um comparison on the use of colour by my three artists and then relating it to my work um so yeah also like i don't know if you noticed well you must have but um just think of different ways to lay out your art history because obviously it's a lot of writing and it's a bit odd to have so much writing in some ways in a sketchbook so you want it to look intriguing so i did this painting the page black again and writing in silver with circles taking over that kind of diagram. Next up, Pimonenko. So looking at his work, that's George Shaw. But I, oh, I did write it. <laughs> um, yeah. And that's a close up, just looking at how she did that. How he did that, sorry. <laughs> Next, more of Pimonenko. And then here, this is a small version of my final piece. Um, and I did it step by step and, and analysed that. Um, next. Yeah, I did uh, also another version where I just did that section of it and analysed it. Oil painting um, of another photo. Um, where my sister's wearing sort of Carpathian headdress and blouse. Um, how Delaunay's work developed through her life. See, fashion, that's quite cool. Um, just so you can see that. We Ukrainians are fashionistas. Look at her, she's so stylish. Step-by-step -step analysis. 
um, of how I carried out my final study. So yeah, this is the big one. Um, you can't see it, but that's so here you've got little <laughs> I put I left the um uh linseed oil and spirit on the work and it's just tiny compared to it you'll see at the end um but that's currently hanging up on one of our walls which is quite cool um next yeah more breakdown that's just more step by step um just turn the light off so you can see that better um yep yeah, and that's a close-up of that's the lint that's a little white spirit <laughs> um What's next? Yeah, just talking about it. Um, that's another photo I took along the way. Um, oh yeah, this was once I was working on the background. So it got to the easy stuff. No, it's not easy. Um, but it was a bit of a break from painting such a massive head. Sorry for snow, I don't mean it. <laughs> um, next, evaluation of my learning process in my work. So this was looking at all of my stuff, just put the light on because it's writing and it fades. Um, yeah, that's the painting that I was talking about with material on the plant. There you are. And then these are photos of works that I didn't do step by steps for. Um, that's the big version of the blurry one I told you about earlier. Uh, the second biggest one I did. And that, don't know if you recognise, but that is a photo that was in my book earlier. Um, and this was also, these were, they were all photos in my books, but that was quite a big one. Um, my favourite is that one. This one here is so cool. I just love the colours. And yeah, you know when you do an art work and it just <laughs> when you do an art when you do an artwork and it's just like wow I did that that came out of me I was like where quit babbling Natalka and move on um more photos of stuff I did that's kind of a long one I used of some scrap um card and then next up yeah just one last talk through and that as the text says is my final piece which I shall show in a bit if I can if it fits in the camera <laughs> and why not have a bit of randomness I had as I did at the beginning I had a little collage at the end so some Yuki ladies Ukrainian gals in their lovely costumes and then some stuff I thought looked cool my eye because why not Matt Bellamy from an awesome band Muse and more artwork so why did I stick bookmarks in there so firstly here is uh proper view of the second biggest painting I did. This was not my final piece though because there is my final coursework piece which is twice the size and on the wall now. I hope you enjoyed this video that actually ended up not being too much longer than my other one but I'm sorry if it was a bit speedy compared to that one but obviously I didn't want to make this video like a whole hour long just because it's like the sketchbook is thrice the size of the exam book maybe four times um, and I had like a massive thing to build up to so I hope this helps for current um, or future <laughs> A-level art students um, and I promise that for anyone interested in my musical stuff instead um, my next video shall be to do with music um, but I just felt I really wanted to upload this because I've been wanting to for a while and I kind of just 
I don't know, I've just kind of forgotten and left it for a bit. <laughs> well, left it for like three years, but yeah. Anyways, I hope you all um, keep safe and well and see you next time.